March 23, 1775, Patrick Henry delivered an address to the Virginia Provincial Convention in which he is said to have declared, Give me liberty or give me death. 1806, having completed the first United States overland expedition to the Pacific Coast, explorers Lewis and Clark began their return to St. Louis, Missouri, where their journey had begun in May of 1804. 1933, the German Reichstag adopted the Enabling Act, which effectively granted Adolf Hitler dictatorial powers. 1942, the first Japanese Americans evacuated by the U.S. Army during World War II arrived at the internment camp in Manzanar, California. 1965, America's first two-person space mission took place as Gemini 3 blasted off with astronauts Virgil, Gus Grissom, and John Young aboard for a nearly five-hour flight. 1983, in a nationwide television address, U.S. President Ronald Reagan announced the Strategic Defense Initiative, popularly known as Star Wars, a proposed strategic defensive system against potential nuclear attacks. 1994, Aerofloat Flight 593 an Airbus crashed in Siberia with the loss of all 75 people on board. It turns out that a pilot's teenage son who was allowed to sit at the controls had accidentally it disengaged the autopilot causing loss of control. 1998 Titanic tied an Academy Awards record by winning 11 Oscars including Best Picture. The director was James Cameron and the winning song was My Heart Will Go On. The movie that it tied with was Ben-Hur. 2010, claiming a historic triumph, President Barack Obama signed the Affordable Care Act, a $938 billion health care overall. 2021, the Suez Canal, one of the world's most heavily used shipping lanes, was blocked after the mega freighter ever given ran aground. It took seven days to move the vessel. These are just a few of the things that have happened today, March 23rd in history. This has been Mr. Scott with Today in History. Thanks for watching.